why is the city of London a separate thing from, you know, London, first of all, but mm-hmm. also uh, they, they cite a bunch of uh, interesting things and they, they sort of saw a video on it that has them asking a lot of general questions. Uh, you know, for instance, the queen herself cannot even enter the city of London without an alderman apparently with her. Uh, but the queen actually is utilizing the king's office, by the way. The, mm-hmm. the, the queen is not on her own authority, a monarch. She is in the office of the king, actually. Um, and by extension yeah. is then allowed, the king is not even allowed, or the office of the king is not even allowed in the city of London without an alderman with her. I, I don't know precisely how to explain this, but the city of London and its role, I guess, uh, in the religious structure, in the political structure, in the separation, the symbology of it in general, I think is something that, uh, you could probably tackle for a little while here. Um, I do also mention that I've done shows on what's adjacent to the city of London, which is rather interesting as well. Um, because there has been a lot of massive ritualization of the land there that uh, we call Great Britain or England or whatever. But meanwhile, the city of London is separate from London, and it's uh, actually a separate entity onto itself. Maybe you could sort of explain that. And, yeah, um, there yeah, is in – if you go to England, go to the city that everyone knows is London, there is in London a square – I think it's a square mile, one square mile – within the greater city of London. And it is called, the, t- the term that is given to that ten, that one mile square is referred to as, quote, the city, end quote. And people in London know what that means. So when you say, if you're living in London, you're going to go into the banking area where all the international banks are, you're getting up, and you're going into the city of London. And so there are two cities in, in England. One is called London, which is the big London or the greater London. That's the, that's the city everybody in the world knows and, of and thinks of. And then there's a one-mile square what's inside the, the city of London that's called the city, period. The city and the city is a one mile square of all the international banks of the world. All the banks of the world have their home offices and their major connections in within that one mile square in London. <clears throat> so all of the banking going around the world is going through the city of London, that mm-hmm. one mile square. It has nothing whatsoever to do with the greater city of London where the people live. That has no, nothing to do with the greater city of London. The people have nothing to do with that one mile square. It's a privately owned by the people who own that one mile square of banks are referred to as the crown. So the Queen of England has zero, nothing whatsoever to do with the crown. There are colonies around the world that England owns and England, they're called English, uh, uh, English, uh, colonies. <clears throat> but there are certain places in the world that the English, England has nothing to do with. They're referred to as crown colonies because there is no connection whatsoever between the English, uh, the English queen, the queen of England and the crown. <clears throat> The word crown is referring to a, a, a very powerful secret society of Freemasons. They're called Knights Templar Freemasonic Order. They're a Freemasonic Order out of England. They're referred to in England by people who are on the inside. They refer to the secret society of Freemasons as the crown. And they own everything, period, including the queen. She must go on her knees once a year. She must go on her knees before the secret society of Freemasons in England and bow down on her knees and ask permission to open up Parliament, to open up the government of England. 
<clears throat> she must go on her knees and, and, and go before the Lord Mayor of London, the one mile square. Mm. And she must ask permission to open up the government for the year in England. And where does she go on her knees? She goes to the crown. She goes to that secret society of Freemasons in England that's referred to as the British Grand Lodge, the British International World Illuminati Grand Lodge that controls not just that one mile square of banks, but the banks themselves throughout the world are actually put there by the crown has nothing to do with the royal family. The royal family are useless and worthless. The people who run England run the world, and they're referred to as the crown. The crown, <clears throat> the crown is a secret society of Freemasons. And that crown colonies and that crown banking is also the people who own and, and operate what we call the Federal Reserve System in America. The British Crown Freemasonic Order, the secret society of Freemasons out of England, run America. They run the Federal Reserve. They print your money. They print your dollar bills. They print and organize your banks. And ultimately, not only your banks, but your money. And your money also, they control your religions, your churches, your synagogues, your whole entire life is ruled by the people, the secret societies called the Knights Templars, who were the people who run the one mile square in London called the Crown. Mm. And so that's why you're having all the horrible stuff going on because there's nothing you can do about your situation in America. You can cry about it. You can complain about it. You can see all the corruption but there's nothing you can do about it because the secret societies of Freemasons in England named and by, by name are referred to as the Knights Templars. The Knights Templars control the entire inhabited earth and the flow of money. That's why it's called the One Mile Square. It belongs to the crown and they call themselves the city, the city of London. And that's why, incidentally, in the Bible and the book of Revelation, in the Bible talks about when the demons who run this world say that we are a city. We, it says in Revelation, I am a city, and I have a kingdom over the kings of the earth. Here in the city, this is what the Bible says, the city has a kingdom over over the kings of the earth, period. Not just over London, not just over Europe. No, the kingdom of the city actually controls the kings of this world. It's all about money and political power that comes from the creation of money. The mm. Federal Reserve, America on its knees and dying because of the Federal Reserve, owned and operated by the city of Freemasons in England. You need to wake up and get a life and learn for the first time how your government actually works and who actually owns your country called the United States because we are no longer the United States of America. We have no longer use that term legally in law today. We are referred to as a United States corporation. We are a privately owned company, a subsidiary of a far larger and far more ancient corporation called the Vatican. And under the Vatican, there is a corporation called the City. It's a Masonic order out of, out of London mm. that controls the banking institutions of this world. And one of them is the Federal Reserve in Washington, D.C., so Americans need to wake up and find out that they are nothing more than our products. They are the offspring of the, of the governments that own them. The United right. States Corporation is no longer the United States of America. We're not united. But the United States Corporation is a company. 
owns you and it owns your body it owns your family it owns your children it owns your wife your husband it we if we're human the united states owns your body you have your body as a security on the new york stock exchange why because rome when it dominated Europe, operated in Europe, and operated in England out of the city of York, England. That's where Caesar ruled England from, was from York. Well, today we have a new York. Right. And New York is the center for the new world order, the United Nations. It's all English, British, international money. It's an incredible betrayal of the human race by the Knights Templars in London. We need to wake up and find out who these people really are, this Grand Lodge of England, and how it dominates America's political, economic, and its human life. We are nothing more than slaves to an ancient secret society out of London. You need to wake up and find out who these people are and how it really works and why the people of England are on their knees, the Queen of England is on her knees, to the city of London, a one-mile square of international banks. Mm.